Howdy Simmers, this is part two of my modern speedbold. I uploaded part one yesterday, so I'm just kind of continuing that. Um, in my last video, I said that it was long. It was long. It was, it was about maybe eight hours, like I said, in my last video of footage, and it was a mess. But here is what I was talking about in my last video about the waterfall. I wasn't sure what to do I wanted it to be cool to where I know this is crazy but if you're in the sim house I wanted you to be able to see kind of um the view which you'll see here in a minute that that this spot has a really really good view <clears throat> and I think that waterfall was just a little bit too tall and I didn't know if there was a smaller one I think I do change it here in a minute but um I will say that the fencing was so hard to do because I wanted it to block the jacuzzi or the hot tub so that they could have privacy but at the same time that fence didn't look good and I just couldn't find a good modern fence. I don't know. In my head I guess modern is just different. I, I don't know. But here I am doing landscape and doing the tiles. I've never seen those before. I was looking through um the debug and the regular and i never i've never seen those but i decided to use them as like footstools or not footstools what are those stepping stones there you go and also when i'm doing a build if i find something that i know i'm gonna use i'll just stick it in the house so that way i don't forget to use it that's just my thinking but i'm doing the corner right now and that's what it looks like. I didn't want to put too much greenery in there, but I don't know. I felt like it kind of fit the backyard. There I'm doing some more of the scaping. Um, I decided to do the multicolored vases. I thought that looked really nice. And there's some front yard land work that I did. Oh my gosh. I think my favorite part is that right there. <laughs> of this house it's that part in the kitchen i'm a sucker for a kitchen i love cooking baking all that good stuff not the best but i think it comes out pretty good my husband doesn't complain so i guess it's a plus right <laughs> but but yeah guys i'm doing the foundation or not foundation paint the ba the patio paint and the barbecue so that barbecue was like way too bright so i think i ended up changing it so the fitness room i had an idea of what i wanted so i just went ahead and did that first usually i do the kitchen because i know what i want in my kitchens but this time i didn't so i knew what i wanted for my fitness and that's kind of what I did here. I didn't want too much tile on the walls. So I just did the one dark blue. And I think it turned out pretty nice. So, and also with the blue, I didn't know what colors to put. And I, I don't know. I felt like I put too much white and black. But I don't know. I think I think it looks all right. Oh, also those paintings, they're not CC. I got them off the gallery and I don't know if you know this or not, but if you go on the gallery and you type in like whatever art you're looking for, it's amazing. Also, guys, the debug fence, that one right there is a gold mine. Let me tell you, that fence saved this look, I think. It it, it was beautiful. That that fence is beautiful. Where has it been all my life? Because I have not seen it there before. But it, it was beautiful. It was so nice. You'll see at the end. It just ties in the house. Perfect. And here I'm trying to look for our darn protein shake. I was like, there's have to be a protein shake in the debug, right? I think there was. And you'll see it in the, um, at the end. I put screenshots of everything. So, yeah. Here I am doing the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love this kitchen. It's amazing. You'll see that I put um, tile or like a 
backsplash, but it's not really a backsplash. It is the, um, if you go on the gallery, like I was trying to say earlier, and just don't mind my um, unorganizedness. If you go to the gallery and you put in, so I put in like whatever spot I'm doing, I'll put that in. So I'll put kitchen art and all of these art things will show up. Not all the time. I think I typed in um, living room art and it didn't really give him, it didn't really give me much or like boys room art. It, it didn't give me much. But if you put in these different keywords, you'll get um, gallery paintings. And sometimes what happens is if there is CC, they'll do like this, the, the sim will uh, do like a, it's not screenshot art. What is it? Um, it's like, real world paintings or something like that and they'll act the sim will actually paint themselves whatever image you want them to screenshot or paint and that's usually how some of this is built but yeah or not built but made and I just went to town on that and it was it was great like you'll see it all around the house there's stuff like that but here okay so with the kitchen cabinets I wasn't sure if I wanted to do two tier but I felt like it was missing it's the wall height the wall height makes me feel like I need something there and so I just I tried my best I really did um, I'm not really into modern kitchens um, they're beautiful they're just they're just not my style. I love the old country farmhouse and that's a thing. So with that sink, it's kind of like a farmhouse because it has like the, I don't, it's like stone in front, but I don't like the back part of it. I wish they would have had an option to take it out. And if they do, I just, it slipped my mind then, but I feel like there's not an option to take out that back part. But if that back part wasn't there, it would have, it would have just made this even better, even better. And so here I'm doing shelving. What I just, I, mm, yeah, I just love shelving. So I just decided to put that in there. Oh goodness. Ooh, in those pans I got from Debug as well. Also, always save your builds. Save, save, save. Because there was a time where my computer died and I lost everything. And I have built like this beautiful mansion. And after I built it and my game messed up, I was like, nope, not redoing it. Because I was so, I was so mad. But it, it happens it it just happens so that's why you always save always that's like a rule of mine and I wish there was a way that we could place um they're not really appliances but like the popcorn machine and stuff like I just wanted to push it back I didn't I don't like it being in the middle and I know that your sims can't really use it if it's pushed back like they'll throw their hands up like Ugh, something's here but <laughs> I just I just wanted to push it back I felt like it was too close and so here I'm adding so that's what I mean those tile paintings oh my gosh golden I believe they are a reference from a full um, tile. Um, what is it? A full tile. Anyways, <laughs> it, it's a it's a little reference from that, and I love that. I didn't want the whole kitchen to have floor to floor to ceiling tile. So, anyways, on to the dining room. So the curtains, I was having issues because I put that extra, like that wall in. I felt like I should have moved it a little bit, but I was so gone ho of having that space there. And so it just kind of, it threw me off. So the curtains were thrown off and 
oh, I've never used those chairs before. And I actually like them. Like, I think that they tie the place in really well. I just, I really couldn't be happier. And so I think I'm trying to, yep. So I'm about to size up these. And like I said last time, it is the bracket keys. Um, it's usually above your enter um, on your keyboard. And you can size up and size down. Oh my gosh. And the floors were so hard. I I didn't know what color floors because I felt like it was just a little bit too much. Like it was just way too dark. I love that color. Just too dark. I, th I thought in my opinion. I leave it for a little bit, but I believe I change it here in a little bit. And then the bathroom, I think I'm going to skip over it because um, it's really nothing special. And I, I skip over most of the bathrooms um, also because this video was, like I said, up to eight hours. And I don't think y'all want to hear me talk or watch my video for eight hours. <laughs> so I had to skip um, some parts for sure. And so, okay, so in my last video, I mentioned this person being like a rising star and winning awards and all that. So I found those in the, I believe they were in the debug menu. Um, I'm not really sure because I don't recall ever seeing them. So I displayed them to make them look like, you know, just the part, the, the sim that lives here is just happy with their achievements so they're displaying them and here i combined two sofas and a seat to make it into like a sectional because it, we don't have sectionals in the sims we just don't for some odd reason it is what it is and also trying to find a carpet that will size up or be the correct size that i need it to be was it was bad it was it was pretty bad and also i feel like we need more um we need more swatches like i need more swatches i need different hardwood and with that being said the new eco pack that i saw the trailer for i would probably get it for just the build items like the solar panels and stuff oh yes yes ma'am i sure will and also i wanted black i wanted black wallpaper i wanted it black and i don't think i got it black i think it's like just like a really dark brown and i don't remember because i don't think we have black um wallpaper in the sims i really don't remember and so here I moved upstairs into the kids room. And like I said, you'll see a whole bunch of junk up here, but that's just because that's how my mind works. I have to put everything where I want it to be or where I think it's going to be. Um, and also like those paintings, like I said, I got them off the gallery. And um, if you like any of the paintings, I'll have a description down below on the video and um with the person's um, gallery name so that way you can um you can download them yourself and i just thought i just thought that that went well with the kids room i don't know it was pink it was pretty why not you know and just like that rug oh my gosh that rug it was perfect i felt like the the room just like came together and I believe I'm trying to find fairy lights. <laughs> yeah, fairy lights. There we go. That just doesn't complete a kid girl's room, does it? And also, okay, so my idea for the closet on the girl's room was that um, she was growing up so all of her stuffed animals were on the top of her closet that was my idea and then this one I was thinking that the the boy could be um, 
could be very outdoorsy um outdoorsy maybe a little scientist i wasn't too sure where i wanted to go with him but that's kind of like what i was thinking of i don't know it's just the the woods um the wood swatches and all that it just all matched all came together and then that's when i was like bam he's gonna be a outdoor kind of scientist type of person and so here we're moving on to the master and i will say i think we need more beds i know that sounds a little bit crazy because we do have a lot of beds but i want like finding a good modern bed just so just just a plain modern bed right is so hard and the swatches are ridiculous like why can't i just get a plain swatch in a decent headboard and like i said i kind of skipped over the bathroom so i do apologize and there wasn't very much in the master because like my my mind was like he is or it's either a he or a couple i'm not too sure if i want him to be just like a single father or um i don't know i just wasn't sure on what i where i wanted him to go but yeah this is the last part and it's his office i think it's pretty all right guys that's the end of my speed build here in a minute i will show um screenshots and if you haven't already please follow and like the video if you enjoyed it and have a nice day i'll see y'all sometime in the week bye guys